Conrad Zimmerman from Destructoid.com, and I'm coming to you from my living room couch. Now, this is where I do the vast bulk of my gaming. Uh, it's because I've got my big TV, I've got my surround sound system, and i got my big comfy cushions. And while I built a PC a few years ago for the express purpose of connecting it to my television, it wound up largely being a system for watching streaming video instead of playing games, because there are a bunch of little inconveniences that get in the way when your monitor's on the other side of the room. But now, Valve has introduced a new display setting for Steam called Big Picture Mode, designed specifically for your living room TV. With just one click, the standard Steam window expands into a clean, user-friendly interface where you can access all the things you already love about Steam in a format with large, readable text. Designed with the Couch Gamer in mind, Big Picture Mode can be navigated using your standard keyboard and mouse or with a controller. You can browse through your library and launch any game you own easily with all of your folder organization carrying over in a nice, big, image-based menu system. The menus are similar to what you'd find in Xbox 360, but without all the advertising to clutter up the space. When you do want to be marketed to, recommendations are offered in an inobtrusive notification in the upper left corner. The Steam store is similarly painless to shop in, offering category-based browsing and, of course, a convenient specials button to take advantage of all those luscious sale bargains. Community interaction is enhanced with Big Picture Mode as well. You can chat with your friends using the controller and actually read what they say in response from across the room. Granted, it's not the best chat interface I've ever used with a controller. The Bloom-style organization takes a little getting used to, but it's there to let you shoot off a quick message without dragging off that keyboard. And the overlay function of Steam is present as well, allowing you to hop into a chat or browse the web with just a button press. That's the other huge element of Big Picture, what Valve refers to as the first first-person browser. The built-in browser is clean and functional, really no different from the browser already in Steam, other than the fact that it's entirely navigable by controller as well as by mouse and keyboard. Big Picture Mode is still in beta, and some of the aspects of it aren't quite perfect yet, but most of these issues are simply down to the huge library of available content and the challenge of accommodating all of it is huge. Games which don't feature a full-screen mode will be windowed and look strange atop Big Picture, for example, and there are times when you just want to put down that controller and grab your keyboard for typing. But it's still a huge improvement over the original system for the living room gamer such as myself. You can try out Big Picture Mode for yourself right now by signing up for the Steam Beta. For Destructoid.com, I'm Conrad Zimmerman. Thanks for watching.